how much I sweat at the gym. And I'm not talking like back sweat, armpit sweat. I'm talking straight up vagina, inner thigh sweat. Like when I stand up, you see the imprint of my vagina on the bench. Oh no! And I'm like, is everybody seeing this? Like, does this happen to everybody? Am I the only one? You're the one for me. Oh, my ecstasy. Oh, this is on. Espresso Podcast Shot 307. I'm your girlfriend, Benny, who just had a spoonful of peanut butter, and now he's kind of sleepy. Whoops. Hey, can we talk? Uh, before we get started, upcoming stand-up comedy shows, Des Moines, Iowa, tonight. Funny Bone Des Moines, we're going crazy. Been promoting the hell out of it. Three months of promotion, it feels like. Bong and corn pops. Sexy flyers on Instagram. We're doing it! And I can't wait to see you guys tonight. Des Moines, we're partying. Bring your rotisserie chickens and get ready to... This is going down. Hartford. April 18th, Omaha, Nebraska, May 1st, and we got a lot more dates. Uh, They're all on my website, benedictpolizzi.com. That's where you can find your tickets and get your tickies below in the description of the podcast. I'll see you in yo city, baby. He said, yo, he's feeling himself. Hey, remember, watch F-Boy Island season one, two, and three on the CW app. And, uh (laughs) uh-oh, he's on another reality show, Lovers and Liars premiering April 11th on the CW. I this is this one. F Boy Island's a funny show, and it's always like a good watch. But this show, I got producers telling me, "Yo, this is the one. This is the show." So it's pretty much like F Boy Island. Only I'm one of the girls now. I'm I'm picking from the. Cr- I'm just dating a bunch of girls, and you guys get to watch it and. It is insane. The dates we go on, the stuff we talk about, the stuff the stuff we say, the stuff I say. Bro, I'm a lead on this show. It's insane. You just got to watch. I have no idea what to expect. The trailer was kind of banging. I posted it on my Instagram. And yo, April 11th, peep it. And join the Patreon for $5 a month. You get every other Espresso podcast and a live stream at the end of every week. Uh, this past week's live stream, we just talked lovers and liars, the behind the scenes. What was it like? Wait, when did you film it? Wait, what What was it after you filmed that? You, wait, so how did you? Uh, we cover it all in the live stream. Ask me anything in the live stream. It's going down. We're just goofing around. $5 a month for every other podcast. In a live stream, it's a deal. Just saying, that's a b- 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 bargain. Become part of the fam. You know what I mean? Join that and get all the merch. Uh, BenedictMerch.com. Get your Benedict pump covers. Get your feeling glonky hoodies. Bestseller. Get your who's buying this hoodies. Get your Taha fuck hats. I'm going to come out with new cat calling merch. It's just going to say, damn, girl, on it, or damn, dude, or damn, dog. I can't really. Uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I can't figure it out just yet. And we might get some We Being Nice Out Here merch. I got a little sketch drawn up. It's nice. I'll show you guys later. But um, yeah, BenedictMerch.com for all your merch. BenedictPolizzi.com for all the shows. Or get your tickets in the description underneath right here. Uh, but can we talk? Espresso, quick, 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 quick question of the week. What's something you're embarrassed by, but you shouldn't be? Fire question. This is, question was also a submission from uh, one of the fam members. So thank you. Um, yeah, if you got a question that you think would be good for the pod, just send it over. I'll rip it. We'll rip, dude. This is, this is for us. This isn't for me. This isn't for the for the wackos. This is for the psychos. What's something you're embarrassed by but you shouldn't be? I'm embarrassed every time I, I got to introduce one of my friends to my other friends. And it's like a new friendship. You know what I mean? Because your OG friends just already know each other. That's already been done. But when I got to introduce somebody and somebody else that's like relatively new, I'm like, oh, do we... 
It just is so, I'm like, can, here, hey, yeah, do, you, do I really need to formally introduce you guys like you're the queen of England? Like, dude, just, yeah, you fuckheads just, there you go, do, do it. There's been so many times where I haven't introduced. Hi, uh, Brad, this is Alex. Alex, this is Brad. So good. So glad to have you. Uh, you guys are gonna oh, you guys are gonna love each other. You ever have somebody introduce you like that? I'm like, shut up, I wanna leave. And I always forget one of their names. I'm like, Brad, this is my homie. Uh, and this is Brad. That's how I do it, really. Or I'm just like, figure it out, bro. Jesus Christ. I really have to introduce you? Holy hell. Uh, yeah, but let's hear yours. What's something you're embarrassed by and you shouldn't be? Let's go. I'm milky boy. Whoa. So something I'm embarrassed by but shouldn't be. We're going to ride this one out together. I'll really see if we can figure it out. No way, dude. Using all the seconds. I don't know. I have an unhealthy love for chocolate milk. Like for the last 10 days, probably every third, every third or three fifth day, I'll get a half gal and uh, I may chug it in the 20 minutes that they see at home. So that's probably, that's, and it's not so much embarrassing as it is just pitiful. And HG on the way home. <laughs> Kiss the tish. Wah. Oh, got it, dude. Hopefully both parts play. Here we also, go. So the audio on Instagram DM sounds so much better than on the website. It does. The dark. Dude, I'm in my room right now in bed in the dark. I'm like, is that a scary thing or like a demon nun cloud? Of course not. But dude, the dark's scary. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, be realistic. I'm 6'6". Six, six. You know, could maul a cougar. Bro's a Tall glass of chocolate milk. And we're not like real good. Well, anyway, you have the dark. I mean, I'm a grown man. Like, God's got me. I know. But, like, it's just something about the dark, dude. It's just something about. When I'll flip my phone around multiple times, I'll wrap myself up like a little Mandela, a little burrito. And, dude, I just don't like the dark. So that's it, man. Kiss this bitch. Oh, hold on. We got another one. Okay, this is actually it. Yeah. You just know all foods, but God bless you too, because this is this is quite a dissertation. Um, my proclivities of a middle-aged woman that I embrace fully. Let me define a proclivity. It's a word I learned reading Jordan Peterson. Shout out Jordan Peterson. He reads Twelve Rules for Life and Antidote to Chaos. Great book, side note. But a proclivity is a tendency. My guy, I'm up there with all the 38-year-old mothers of the world. Give me TJ Maxx, wine, white claws, short coats, short coat reboards. I've never had one, but it looks cool. Give me, uh, give me gossip. Give me PSLs. Give me a wine cooler. Mm. Like cheap ones. You don't have the good stuff. Give me daggum, what you call it? Daggum. You know, those wild comms. Dude, I'm here for the vibes. Yeah. No, that is very... Okay, the third one, you're right about that. Everybody really, really, really deep down is a third year, 38-year-old white mom. I don't care. You could be the most thug dude. You could be the most redneck guy. You could be the most... You could be in a gang, but deep down, you really love a brunch with the besties. That's pretty much what a cookout is, you know? You see a cookout in the hood, it's pretty much just a bunch of girls getting together and having drinks. When you boil it down, it's the most... Because 38-year-old moms do the most comforting stuff. that Everybody wants to be a 38-year-old mom deep down. They just shop, they have fun, they have a coffee while they shop, they come home, they read a nice book... I don't know what kind of 38-year-old mom you're talking about, but I've got a bunch of screaming kids at home. Okay, Ashley, shut up. When you think of 38-year-old mom, single mom, I guess, bro, they just, everything they do is, <sighs> can I just relax? Can I just relax? 
you know why 38 year old moms need to relax so much and they have the charcuts and they have the drinkies and they have the PSLs and they go to TJ Maxx. You know why they do all that? All the comforting things. Cause when 38 year old moms get a headache. Oh, dude, if you're a mom and you're ages 38 to 68 and you get a headache, everybody get down. Everybody get down! Bro, when moms... What is it about a mom headache that's just like, oh my God, oh! Dude, when moms have a headache, the whole world stops turning. <laughs> Bro, when my mom had a headache, I wouldn't even eat until it was over. I wouldn't eat. I might not even... When my mom had a... Hey, I have a headache! Hey, me. <gasps> I'd hold my breath for two and a half hours till it was gone. Mom headaches probably hit differently than anything in the world. There's just a different, it's just a different type of energy, bro. It could be, you could be at the Super Bowl. If a mom gets a headache at the Super Bowl, time out. Dude, the refs stop the game. It'll just go to commercials. If you're ever like, why are there so many commercials during this game? Because there's a mom there and she has a headache. Just that's the rules. We don't make them, they do. When a mom gets a headache, that's it. You drop everything. It's over. Everybody's car stops. Everybody. And if you don't, bro, if you don't shut up when your mom has a headache, she will chop your head off with a rusty axe. And that's why, because after the headache, after the headache goes away, it's TJ Maxx, it's charcuterie, it's PSLs, it's a nice coffee with some almond milk, it's a book, it's, it's wrapping up into a burrito on the couch with a cat and watching a rom-com, it's all the best things. Why? Because the headache was going so crazy five minutes ago. I just want to experience a mom headache. What's it like? Is it like just getting just getting strapped to a wall naked and just getting hit in the balls with a wooden baseball bat over and over? Ah! Ah! Stop! Stop! Ah! 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 No! Not again! Oh God! Ah! Oh God! That's what it is. Is that what it is? It has to be. It has to be. Deep down, everybody wants to be a 38-year-old mom until you get the headache. I'm a little embarrassed to be a 38-year-old mom. I've been the 38-year-old mom for the past like two years. I'm a little embarrassed to say it. But I think I think you can see that. I think you can see. Like if you walk by me, you're like, okay, he's kind of a mom a little bit. He's kind of a girl. He's kind of a girl. He's not a real man. He's not a real man. Let's get going. All right. So one thing for me is buying toilet paper. Like, I don't know what <laughs> oh, is so fucking is. embarrassing about having a thing of toilet paper in your shopping cart. And. Oh, shit. Ugh, I was driving. Um, yeah, but. <sighs> Like, I don't know what's so embarrassing about buying that because, like, like I don't want anyone to know, like, see me buy it. But, yeah, like, it's it's I so also weird. want people to know that I, like, use toilet paper because, you know, that's gross if you don't. But then, like, not too long ago, I was in Walmart and there was this guy, like, 30, and he had the biggest thing of toilet paper in his buggy and air freshener and he was just walking around the store like just so confident i was so jealous of him uh -huh. like he had no shame in his poop game no he and, does yeah i don't know i was very envious of his confidence mm -hmm. i know what you wanted to ask him though you wanted to tap him on the shoulder and you wanted him to go hey and you go you look in his eyes and you go but what that boo boo do though what that boo boo do Hmm, baby? What that boo-boo do, baby? That's what you wanted to ask him.
Uh, it was all fake confidence because I've been that guy. I used to live in an apartment in a city and I'd walk 100 yards, 200 yards on the city streets with a bunch of bars and a bunch of people all on the sidewalks. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? And I'd go to the store and I'd get 15 rolls of toilet paper and air freshener and that's it. And I'd walk back and they'd all see me. And I wouldn't even get a bag because all that toilet paper doesn't fit in a bag. Big brick of toilet paper, air freshener in the other hand, threw away the receipt 10 years ago. And I'm just walking to my apartment. So scared. So vulnerable. But I just acted like it was it was nothing. I'm walking on the sunshine. Oh, and I have to shed my pants. That was me. It is embarrassing, though. You ever see somebody in the store that you kind of like? And you got something weird going on. Oh, yeah. Well, this is just... <laughs> everything I buy at the store is so weird. Three cartons of ground turkey, flowers, a candle, toilet paper, and a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> huh? feel like such an idiot in the store. Bro, don't ever look at my stuff. I never know what to say to people in this. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my God. I say that was corny as shit, dude. Cringe moment of the week. That one time I saw the girl with a bunch of Mexican food in the store, and she was cute, and I, like, know her, and I didn't know what to say to her, but I had to say it. It would have been weirder if I didn't say anything to her. So she had, she had a bunch of Mexican food, and I go, uh, I, I look at her, and I go, okay, salsa. Put a bullet in my mouth, please. She goes, <laughs> I was like, could I have bombed any worse? Bro, it, I will bomb on site. It's only when I'm trying. It's only when I, cause I was like, I saw her and I was like, oh, I should probably say, think of something, think of something, think of something. And time, it was time, was, time was coming. We were passing. Okay, salsa. Gun to the back of my head. Let it rip. Pull trig, babe. That's what I get. Blow my head off. Blow my head off. It's so easy to talk to a girl when there's nothing on the table. You know, you're just crushing game. Crushing, dude. Because you don't care. But once you see somebody, you kind of like, okay, okay, salsa. Idiot. <laughs> oh my God, let's keep going. I'm going to go on a limb here and say my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Not because he wasn't a great guy, because he was. But the guy had cardboard boxes for nightstands. <laughs> How? 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 Cardboard, dude. Some guys really don't care. That's that meme that's like, guys only need one thing. What's wrong with this picture? Show this picture to any guy, and they'll say, Hell yeah, it's just a lawn chair in a living room with an Xbox hooked up to a TV, and that's it. Some people really do that. I could live like that, but I like. <sighs> I'm always like, what about the off chance that like randomly eight of the hottest women I've ever seen in my life show up to my apartment tonight? I'm going to need some shit. I'm going to need some actual glassware, some forks. I always have that in my head. I'm like, what if just 55 women showed up to my apartment tonight unannounced? I'm going to need some curtains, big dog. I'm going to need a bed frame. I'm going to need a night a cardboard nightstand, bro. That's my worst fear. My worst fear is a girl walking into my place that I live and going, what the fuck? It's a, I've got such a fear of that. I don't know why. The first thing, when I when I got any money from anything in my life, the first, first thing I do is like replace a lighting fixture in my apartment. I'm like, oh my God, get this ugly thing out of here. <laughs> He's paranoid. That's why guys play on the road, bro. You don't have your girl over, ever. 
I could have a girlfriend for five years. She would never see my room. Maybe on FaceTime. If I answer. If I answer. Other than that, I'm going to your crib. Weird. Weird. That, do I have a girlfriend for a full year? She came to my apartment twice. <laughs> What's the point? I don't think she ever even asked, why don't we go to your apartment? Because it's weird. It's divorce debt. Like, because you can't take a shower there. Like, it, my, my shit's not ready. Dude, if you, like, imagine your girl's place or your ex-girlfriend's place. You could have you could have walked in and you could have stayed there comfortably for four weeks. There's towels ready. There's just shit ready. There's food Things are stocked. The TV works. There's a comfortable couch. There's like a cat that mm, like rolls up on you, kind of rubs his fur on you. It's livable situation, bro. You walk into a guy's apartment. No furniture. Dead animals all over the fucking count. There's dead fish in the fish tank. No food. Open my fridge. Open my fr I dare you. There's some who's buying this like Sunny D seltzer. There's pickles from 4th of July 2007. Oh, lunch meat. A bunch of hot dogs just for no, just for video content. Crumbs all over the oven. Ah. TV hasn't been on and there's dust everywhere, bro. You walk into my apartment, you immediately start. <coughs> <coughs> you got to put one of those flat. You got to get one of those flashlights that go in your head, like one of those ghost hunter TV shows. That's when you when you get in my apartment. Oh, my God. Is this haunted? Nah, I just actually I've had it for two years. Why? What's up? The bed's just on the ground. Guys don't care, dude. For I swear for three months, my computer was on the ground. And I would just sit on the ground and do what I needed to do. You don't need like... No, I don't. I don't. But then once I got a little bit of money, I started making it accessible just in case 55 hot women walked in my apartment. And it looked a little better. It looked a little better, but it was still like... You can see through the mirage. You know what I mean? I had the poor guy fridge still, you know? I had a cool light in the kitchen that you might... Whoa, hey, that's a cool light. But my oven? My oven was from Little House on the Prairie. Put a bunch of moss on the walls. Hey, whoa, this guy's trendy and cool. No. Oh. Just covering up all the weird stains and holes in the walls and shit like that. You got a guy's got to play on the road, bro. It is embarrassing. Every guy's apartment is so embarrassing. And if it's not embarrassing, if it's like, ooh, he's gay. All right. So I, I work from home on Fridays and I, you know, order my lunch on Chipotle and on Grubhub. I was like, all right, here it comes. I'm going to uh -huh. take my dog out really quick while I'm waiting. So I take my dog out, you know, for five minutes. I'm coming back in my building and there's just this guy like hammering on all the call box buttons. And he's like, hello, hello, I have this order. And so I was so like, hello, crazy. like answering the call box. And I realized it's my food. And I was like, oh, I was like, that's, that's mine. That is mine. Thank you. Thank you. And I just like snatched the bag from him just so embarrassed and then like just like hurry my dog inside and I'm just like just like clutching this bag like basically under my shirt just like so nervous I'm gonna run into someone yeah um, like like my dog is like things are in danger she's like what bringing food delivery around anyone back into your apartment is so weird even I even get embarrassed, like, good thing all the GoPuff drivers and Uber Eats drivers and Postman, dude, they're all foreign. So I'm like, you don't think I'm that weird, right? 
Because you don't like, you don't like really know it. You know what I mean? I probably underestimate their knowledge, but I'm like, you can't think I'm that weird, right? Because you think America, like everybody in America is a big pig. So I'm like, all right, bro, but I'll order a family size 60 piece chicken wing dinner. 14 sides. This Uber driver probably thinks I have a family and shit, bro. This is for me tonight. Ew, my weird. Oh, my God. What? Oh, dude, I live in this house and this girl that lives here, bro. Sometimes I order pizza and they deliver it to the main house. When I was living in the apartment in the back, they deliver it to the main house. Oh, my God. I've never been so ashamed of myself. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, it's been like 50 minutes. Where's my pizza and cookies? That's the stupid, where's my, where's my large stuffed crust pizza, pepperoni and cookies? I should have gotten a notification on my phone. I get a text from the girl that lives in the house. I have your pizza and cookies. I was like, no one's supposed to know about my sacred little dinner. So embarrassing. And then she brought them to my door. I was like, oh, I, you know, I texted her. Hey, you want some? Just so I didn't feel like such a fat piece of shit. You want a piece of pizza and some cookies? <laughs> she said, no. I was like, good. I want them all. <laughs> oh, my God. So embarrassing ordering food. They all are fat pieces of shit. Da, 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 da. So, the one thing I shouldn't be embarrassed by, but I am, I love raves. I love going to raves. I haven't been in a minute, but I want to go to a rave every day. I love headbanging and a possible fear of my wig flying off. Oh. Like, there's just something about it. I'm not deep in the crowds. I'm not going to get, like, trampled on. But, you know, I'll chill in the back. I'll headbang. I'll, I'll, do, all, I'll do all the theatrics. But... It's low-key embarrassing when you're in your mid-30s. You're like, bro, but I like to rave. But yeah, that's my embarrassment. But like, chuck it in the fuck it bucket. Fine. Chuck it in the fuck it bucket. Um, what did I feel embarrassed about the other day? Oh, I went to Rolling Loud Music Festival kind of like a rave. And I was excited. And I put on my camo pants. <laughs> I put on my Caitlin Clark, Iowa jersey. Slaps. It does. Des Moines, too soon. And I put on a bandana. And I took a picture of it and sent it to my friend, Derek. And he goes, bro, you're 33. And I was like, ah, never mind. It is a little embarrassing. It is a little embarrassing. It is a little embarrassing to put a bandana on your head and then go to a music festival and get the chills when Future comes on stage. I'm like, ooh. Should I still be... Should I... Sh should, my, should my legs get numb when Karate... Karate Chop by Future comes on? Whip it. Dubba, dubba, dada. Pull up in a new Rari. Skirt, skirt. 33 years old with a bandana on, doing all the ad libs in the crowd. Chief Keef came on, and I go, I can't believe this is happening. I said that probably 74 times. 33. Sosa. A little embarrassed, but it's just who I am, you know? It's just who I am. It's just who I am. It's just who I am. That's what I tell myself. It's just who I am. <gasps> Starts crying. Um, I went to a rave. It was like a very low key rave in Indianapolis. Um, a lot of body showing. It was just kind of an interesting thing for me. I've never been to one. I was just kind of like, okay, there's a DJ, and you got like. All right. Cool, I'll go. Bro, it was a whole thing. It was just like... And 
And I was like, fuck it. All right, cool. But I do need, I think I do need lyrics. I do need lyrics. Like I, 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 I mess with it all. I mess with the genres. I'm about all the genres, but I do need some lyrics up in there every, every so often. I think I st- that's why clubs like started to get less fun for me. Like nightclubs. I don't go anymore, but when I did, and when I was like 23 and 24 and 25, mid twenties, bro, they would just play rap at clubs. And I was like, this is the best thing. They just blast two chains in a place and we can all just dance like idiots right here. It's crazy. And then like when I started, when I turned like 28, 29, clubs were just like, I was like, I don't really know how to get down to this. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Check. I would never be, I don't think, I don't think I'd ever turn down, uh, I've probably seen Drake in concert, that's kind of embarrassing a little bit, no, no it's not, I don't give a shit, no, I don't think that's embarrassing, embarrassing, embarrassing check, nope, I've seen Drake like seven times in concert, it's, it's, it's good every time, I've never regretted it, every time I'm like, oh this is hard, let's keep going. So what I'm most embarrassed of and shouldn't be is how much I sweat at the gym. And I'm not talking like back sweat, armpit sweat. I'm talking straight up vagina, inner thigh sweat. Like when I stand up, you see the imprint of my vagina on the bench. Oh no! And I'm like, is everybody seeing this? Like, does this happen to everybody? Am I the only one? Like, I know your asses are sweating, too, but, can't, like, you literally see the outline of my labias on the seat. And it's so gross. I'm constantly, like, trying to, like, slide off in a way that it, like, wipes the sweat print off the seat before I stand up. But it's just, it's disgusting and embarrassing. But it shouldn't be. Whoa, I did not know that was a thing. Fellas, we just entered enemy territory with that one. Wow, that was some things I would never know about a woman. Y'all really just be marking your territory, huh? <laughs> uh, wow. I do get a little embarrassed about the ass crack, ass crack. Stamp I leave. I'm like, ew. Hey, you ever not working out and you sit down somewhere and there's ass crack sweat? You're like, oh, okay. <sighs> Time for me to clock out. It's always at work. Time for me to clock out of Chili's. Or time for me to just, you're never at work. You're actually just out of Chili's. Leave that, dude, you ever leave the sweat crack stain just at a restaurant? Oh! I didn't know it happened with the lady with the lady parts. Y'all y'all just be out here stamping your way around the weight room. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do some uh <laughs> I'm gonna do some incline bench. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. Wild. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I do get embarrassed by the ass crack sweat. I'll uh, I'll get up from a machine at the gym with that ass crack sweat and I'll wipe my I like I'll I'll put my shoe on it. I'll DJ my shoe on it. Just cause that is embarrassing. I don't know why. I don't want you to know my ass sweats. Oh my god, it's so gross. Not really though, because everybody does. But it is kind of weird. It's so funny. When somebody gets up from a chair they've been sitting in too long and you just see all their ass cracks sweat, I'm like, thank God, bro. Thank God I'm not, not the only psycho who's just constantly sweating. I think when people sweat in the gym, though, I'm like, good for you. You're doing something. I'm not really sweating in the gym because it's not that I'm not working hard. I'm just not working as hard as you. I think the person who sweats the most in the gym is like working the hardest. So when I see somebody dying in the gym, I'm like, salute, bro. 
Salute. It's not embarrassing to me, big dog. You're just fucking going at it. You ever sweat real hard? Dude, when I sweat real hard in the gym, I'm like, yes. I wear a hoodie in the gym, so I should be sweating. When I sweat through the hoodie, that's when I know. That's when I know. So I see sweat through the front and on the back. I'm like, (laughs) I wouldn't be embarrassed by that. But I don't think dudes know about the stamp until now. So you just put us on. Now we're going to be looking. You made the guys even creepier with that voice message. Now we're going to be at the gym like. There are so many things I get embarrassed about that I feel like I shouldn't. Um, Swallowing pills. I can't have anyone be in the same room as me. And I definitely can't have anyone looking at me. I don't know. It's like feel vulnerable or something it, and it's like my throat just won't let the pill rot like cross the threshold into my stomach um but what really gets me is going to the pharmacy dude like they ask so many questions they need to know my address my oh, phone number yeah. and they, like they need me to spell my whole ass name and i know like, we have three I'm like oh my god like put me on blast i know i'm broken and then they're like you need to talk to the pharmacist i'm like no I don't. Like, I don't need to. It's fine. And then there's a million old people there because there's always old people at the pharmacy. And then I feel old because I'm there with all of them. And it's just, I get out of there and my face is red. I'm like, I just like, it's just a sinus infection. It's not that serious. No, I know exactly. That is insane. When you're up at the register of anywhere, even like Walmart. One time I was at a CVS and they're like, can I have your uh, full name and number? I was like, dude, no. My number? Like, uh, I don't care who it is, bro. I'm not giving you my n- what? Um, Can you confirm this is right and just says your address? I'm like, bro, there's people. My address? Fucking gross, man. The bank does that too. How about when you deposit some money at the bank? They're like, you just deposited, da da da. And I'm like, can you shut the fuck up? Shh. There's 8,000 people in the zigzag line behind me. If you dare say my checking account balance, I will come through this glass. You better, yeah, this is why the, there's bulletproof proof glass. Nobody's robbing this bank, but if you say my checking account balance, bro, I will break this with my fist and choke you through it. (laughs) Do not say anything about my bank summary, okay? No account information. So close to being the worst moment of my life. Okay, and your birthday is 1027-1990. I'm like, uh, I don't know why that's so embarrassing, but can you not? Why don't you just fucking show, show, pic- you know what? Actually, just hold up a picture of my tiny dick. Do that. What would you rather have us do? Say your address, um, your name, full name, your date of birth, uh, your height, and your where the street you grew up on, or just show everybody a picture of your ass. Picture of my ass. Okay. Every time, picture my picture of my ass. Just hold it up. FedEx color paper. Just this is what it looks like, everybody. Okay. And we're all done here. Here's your receipt. To the ban- every, the pharmacy's inc- incredible. They're out here saying what people are getting prescribed. Yo. Sh- that's why they give pills the disguise name. Give me the weird finasteride. Everybody's like, oh, I don't know what that is. You know what it is? It's the pill that makes you not lose your hair because you're a, you're a kind of a bitch. Embarrassed. The one time, I swear to God, we were at Costco and they're like, you got the hair pills, right? I was like, yeah. But do we have to disclose all personal fears before I make the transaction? My God. One more. What am I embarrassed of that I shouldn't be? Huh. Funny that you ask. 
this. Here we go. Knowing too much about things, knowing too little about things, everything I did in high school, everything oh, I did in college. Man. All one semester. That time I went to message two girls at once and accidentally put them in a group chat. Ah! Old emo Facebook posts, leaves in my yard, having an ass that's way too bussin'. Online date with a girl who confused me with a different Tinder match. And receiving the most votes to be my senior class president. I went up for my acceptance speech. Oh, God. Everyone could see I yeah. had the biggest boner. <laughs> I guess you could call me the president erect. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. This guy. <laughs> Sorry, Katie. <laughs> Yep. Every man has had a time where they were bricked in class and had to stand up. One of my teachers got my friend bad, bro. Sixth grade, brick time. I don't know what it is with guys, but we always it always happens when we're a little little tired, you know? I was a little tired in class, kinda I'm always a little tired in class. My friend was a little tired in class. We had this teacher that was like, if I see you yawn, if I see you start to doze off, do five push-ups, do five sit-ups, and then sit back down, because I want you at high attention. And I was like, all right, that kind of makes sense. Bro, one of my homies was like dozing, I guess, didn't see him. And she goes, Mr. Herberts, stand up, five jumping jacks, dude. Bro is bricked. <laughs> oh, he did him. He did him, but I think he faced the window or some shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> it happened to me once. I had to do it. I had to present something. Didn't, and it was all random. Went random. Who's going when? Mr. Polizzi, you're next. Ah. Uh was holding the paper pretty low for that one. Couldn't even read it. I was like, uh, got to squint pretty hard for this. Why don't you bring the paper up closer to your face so you can read it, Mr. Polizzi? Well, you don't want to know. And I'm scared. Leaves in your yard. That is embarrassing, huh? God, that's something I don't know about. That homeowner shit is embarrassing. You got the worst grass on the in the neighborhood. Because me and my dad used to walk around the neighborhood all the time. We'd be like, ooh, that guy's grass sucks. They must be a piece of shit family. Dude, if your yard looks like shit, you can only imagine that the, the person is kind of a like trash. God, can you edge your siding? What's the inside of your car look like? What's the inside of your house look like? What's the inside of your brain look like, bro? Get your crabgrass right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> crabgrass just ruined my life. My The only thing. The only thing I have in my memory. All right, let's keep going. Dear Diary. Conquered a big fear. I did. And you may think, oh, that's not so bad. Well, it is. I'm the, pl I'm the polite cat call guy. And I did it in Hollywood and I was like kind of scared because we had the setup when I was in Indy. We had the setup. We did it in a broad ripple. It was bang, bang, play, bro. Perfect, perfect spot, perfect vision. Boom, boom, boom. The people knew, you know what I mean? It was just like, oh my gosh. Like it was like people be like, yo, that's a, yeah. And everybody was in on it. It was perfect. And once I moved to LA, I was kind of like, where the hell am I going to do that here? The other night, did it right outside of the number one gay club in the world. And it was like a dream. I don't know how good it's going to be. I don't know yet. But off of feeling, we recorded the video. Bro, everybody was so happy. They were so into it. They couldn't have been nicer. It was so friendly. And sometimes it can go... It can go a lot of different ways with the gays. Because you never know how they're going to take it. 
damn boy. They might be like, what the fuck? Or they might be like, hey, you know? You never know, bro. But everybody was so in. It's a per- it, was, it was almost like it was a dream. We, we posted up next to this guy with a hot dog stand and a dog. We had like a guard dog. The hot dog stand was called Big Dicks. It feels like I'm, it feels like I'm explaining a dream right now. There's a gay guy on a pink bike. There's a, the cross traffic was amazing. Everybody was dressed just mm, perfect. The girls look great. The dudes looked even better. Oh my God. It was, it was, it was a good time. I'm uh, going to start editing it soon. I know I always say that and I still have to put out the drunk spelling bee from when I did that in West Hollywood too, but it's a one man army. It's a one man show and I'm getting there. Show and tell. Sh- 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 show and tell. All right. This lady uh, cut my hair, you know, because I got the new barber now. I'm out in L.A. I got I to gotta figure it out. I'm figuring everything out. I go to this place called Shorty's Barber Shop. I've, had, I've gone there four times. I've had four different barbers because I always choose first available because I'm always like last minute. Like I'll book a haircut at uh, 1 a.m. on the online for it, for the appointment at 10 a.m. the next morning. Like that's I never I can't plan shit out cuz it never works out. Every time I plan every anything like a week in advance, I'm like, "Well, that no. I have to do it the day before." I go The lady's awesome. She's cutting my hair. It feels good. It's looking good from the front, bro. She and I was like, "Hey, just one thing. I always got to I got to remind the barber, "Hey, I've got two hair transplants." So I've got two huge scars in the back of my head. Please don't cut my hair low so you can see the scars. You know what I mean? Like, just don't do whatever you want to my hair, but don't let the the scars show because that kind of defeats the purpose of a hair transplant. Oh, great hair. Turns around. Ah. He's a war veteran. Look at this, bro. She cut it too short. It looks like someone took a blender to the back of my head. Oh my God. So that's where, well, that's why I wore the bandana all the weekend. And just big embarrassed boy over here. Zoom that, hopefully, but oh my God, how embarrassing. But it was looking really good in the front. So I still think, uh, I'll probably go back to that barber, low key, but um, just leave a little on the back end, shorty. Oof, man. Oof, embarrassing. Whoa, 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 whoa. He'll show pictures of his weird scalped head on the internet, but not the scars in the back of his head. Is it weird? Yes. Does he know why? Not really. Uh, cringe moment of the week. Okay, so I live with two girls. Uh, it just kind of happened, got thrown into the situation. Um, and one of them the other day, and when you have girl roommates, they always like, or just when you have new people in your life, they always tell things about you that you've never knew about yourself or you're, they keep you in check, you know? Like, uh, one time she was like, do you always just have peanut butter on your fingers? And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, there's peanut butter all over this house. And I was like, ah! The other day. And this is like big sister vibe. Like she's not like she's not with the game. She's not playing. She goes. I like raise my hand or something or like try to get got something out of the cupboard. She goes, you don't ever wear underwear, do you? My face after. <laughs> Bro, I just, baby girl, I haven't worn underwear since 2019. Is it weird? I didn't think until she just told me that. Wait, so this whole time you've just been, mm -hmm. yeah, I can just. Somebody slapped my ass the other day, a guy. He goes, oh, you don't have underwear on, do you? 
Is it weird? Is it cook cringe? I know. Uh, who's it's 2024. Who's wearing underwear? Even in jeans, I'm like, I'm good. It's just another layer I don't need. Uh, am I weird? I don't know. C -c cringe mode of the week. Let's do days. And we'll GTFO. Da -da -da -da, days of the week. Thursday, today. National Memory Day. The one thing I don't have, Nash, is, is memory. Whew. I only remember the dumbest shit known to man. National Spray Tanning Day? No, I didn't make that up. That's on the list. Speaking of spray tan, I need to get a spray tan. The spray tan I've been getting, not really hitting, kind of streaky. Am I going to keep going? Yes, because it's part of the routine. Every Sunday, every Wednesday. This is the routine. Shave the full body. Shave the full body. And we take the coldest shower of all time. Then we get a spray tan. The cold shower thing, I don't know. I think it's a guy thing. I personally don't think any woman in the world, in the world, takes cold showers. I think it's just a guy thing. Because if you've gone into the bathroom after a lady has taken a shower, it is like a sauna. It's like a steam room. I'm like, dude, their skin is so hot. You ever, dude, next time a girl walks out of a shower, who, who, no matter who, it could be your mom, your sister, your girlfriend, your grandma, just touch your shoulder, bro. Ah! The whole bathroom, bro. That mirror won't defog until next Thursday. Everything in there feels melted. Dude, the paint's dripping off the walls after a girl takes a shower. I don't think they, ha I don't think... I don't, if there's, if there's a, a fam girl out there that takes a cold shower, hit me. Cause I don't know. I don't know. I've never heard the girls go in the cold tub. I've only seen guys. Cause even dude, it takes me, it takes me a good 15 minutes. I'll lag for 15 minutes before I take a cold shower. Cause I don't want to do it that bad. For 15 minutes, I'll be on my phone. I'll be hunched over on my bed. I'll just be. Looking at TikTok like randomly at like 11 a.m. TikTok at 11 a.m. is not, is a, is a disorder. You can watch TikTok at night, but during the day, if you're scrolling on TikTok, huh? I'll do it to buy time. No, I don't want to take that cold shower, bro. It's just, the, it's just a nightmare. I'll stand in the shower for three minutes like this before I get in the cold water. And then I get in and I go, Bruh! And I hate everything about myself for like two minutes. And then I turn it warm and I shave my whole body. Then I go get a spray tan. And that's his routine. French bread day. I swear to the good Lord. One of the best things on earth is French bread. Sliced thinly. So it's like this thick. Just pop it in some strawberry jelly. Just, just wipe it. Pretend like the, the French bread is a towel and wipe the strawberry jelly out. Slap it in your mouth. Whew. That's a sweet treat. Time for a sweet treat. Time for a sweet treat. What'll it be? What'll it be? Some French bread and some jelly. Yes, please. Friday. National Goof Off Day. That's what that's what the the live stream is at the end of the week. Goof Off Day. West Virginia Day. Big mistake. Big 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 mistake. Dated a girl. Um, was kind of very uh, locked in, as you might say. Didn't really do much with her, I guess. Yeah, didn't do much, I guess. I had a show in West Virginia with one of my friends. And I was like, yo, you want to go to West Virginia? Like, come on. Invited her to a comedy show in West Virginia. We're driving with one of my, fr my comedian friends, bro. 
my comedian friend just did not shut up the whole way there and the whole way back. And my the my girlfriend at the time, I think almost killed him. Like audibly, he started a, a new sentence and she goes, ah, oh! did that. Oh my God, I wanted to die. Get to the show, get to the show, cringe moment of the week. There's one person there at the show and she's performing. All this way. To do stand up. In front of my girlfriend at the time in the crowd. Only person name. Dude, that's what that's that's why this shit is so hard to do, man. Because you got You just got to do shit like that, bro. Name. That's a nightmare for me. Do doing stand up. It's crazy. Doing stand up in front of your girlfriend. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Doing stand up in West Virginia when the only person in the crowd is your pissed off girlfriend. <gasps> Nothing. Nothing I say will work. Nothing. I could say the funniest thing on the planet. Forget about it, dog. Whole cringe moment of the week. Then had to drive back. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ooh. Gotta go. Gotta do it. Gotta do the, gotta do the, gotta do the hard shit. Gotta do the hard shit. But wow, that one was rough. Whew. Saturday. <laughs> to Molly Day. Yo, I, I went to uh, Walmart an hour away to, to find the, Rudy Tooty Fresh and Fruity IHOP chips. Walk through the parking lot to get into Walmart. Bro, there's people out here hustling in Walmart parking lots. Walmart parking lots in LA are not just uh, your goody two shoes parking lots, bro. There is moves being made. There are about 14 trucks. I went through a gauntlet. French tamale, French tamale, French tamale, taco, 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 quesadilla, quesadilla. No, I went it was like a whole Mexican buffet, food trucks. They're just selling them out of the back of their Dodge caravans. I was like, can you do this? You can just hustle in a Walmart parking lot? Bro, just parked right next to the car corral slinging tamales. I was like, good for you, bro. He probably would have given me like seven for a dollar. But I was like, I just was like, I don't I didn't even... I looked at his setup and I was like, nice. He had like a curtain hiding it. And lo low key, he was just standing by his van like, tamale, 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 tamale. The Mexican people walk by and he'd be like, and they would talk back and he'd be like, and I'd be like, bro's got a system. Bro's got a system. Everybody was out there grinding. I was like, that's different. Every time I park in a parking lot in LA, somebody like I'll sit there and my, you know, when you park in a parking lot and you like turn your car off and you like get on your phone for a sec just to like catch up and see what you missed and blah, 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 probably hit somebody back. Like, all right, this is what I need to, you're like getting ready to go in. Takes like five minutes. Sometimes it takes 55 minutes if you're at the gym. Takes like five minutes. You're like getting reset to get back into real life. Every time I'm, I park my car and I'm on my phone for two minutes, somebody knocks on my window. Tries to sell me something. I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? Can I can I be in my car for 30 seconds without 19 people trying to sell me something in a Walmart parking lot? This is what the deal is out here. So now every time I park my car in LA and I go into a store, it's like, <laughs> bang, bang, baby. No talky, no thinky. Just go. Because somebody will try to sell you something. It's amazing. Sunday. Last one. Cheese steak day. Never had one. Actually, you know what? I have had one. And I'm going to go out and I'm coming to Philly. I'm coming to Philly to do stand up. I'm coming there. I've never had a Philly cheesesteak, but I have. I got a feeling that the one at Subway is just as good. Is that like blasphemy? I don't know. But I also have had one of the best rated number one overall meatball subs from New York City. And the one at Subway is better. 
Philly, you're gonna have to prove me wrong. Chocolate covered raisin day as well. Are they for really old people? Are they for psycho people? Um, I think so. And that's why I'm in love with chocolate covered raisins. Because I'm old and psycho. Raisinettes? Slap me in the face with the box. You know what box I'm talking about? The box that you buy raisinettes that they, they're at the movie theater only. And at Dollar General. And at Dollar Tree. Slap me in the face with that box. That's all I'm asking. That's it, fam. Shot 307 Espresso Podcast with Benny. Yo, check out Lovers and Liars premiering on the CW April 11th. Come to the shows, bro. Get catcalled. Polite like. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Join the Patreon. See you guys next time.